Hey, my name is Justin Gock. I'm the general manager of Barilla Bay Oysters here in Tasmania. Biggest challenge is, is just getting a handle on the environment in terms of the, the temperature, the salinity, freshwater impacts, all those environmental cues that can have uh, major impacts on the growth of the oyster. Sense T is a world first economy wide sensor network. What we're doing is bringing together historical data with real time data and making it available to end users in user friendly applications. We'll be able to forecast, predict and in real time be able to assess our stocks in the water column, looking at both the temperature, salinity, anything that can have an impact on the oyster itself. We can incorporate that into our computer-based uh, management strategy and that will enable us to be able to look at how the oysters are growing at any point in time combined with the environmental data and that will then enable us to be able to grade on time, to harvest on time. It's allowing us to make decisions based on what the evidence is in the water as opposed to what we may feel the oysters need. Select Oyster Company, or SOCO, is owned by New South Wales farmers and was established in 2004 by oyster farmer bodies. The selective breeding program started in 1990 by the New South Wales Department of Primary Industries for selection of disease resistance, growth rates and shell shape, which has improved throughout the generations of selected lines. SOCO is working with hatcheries to provide these selected lines as spat to industry. There are currently two lines of brewstock available and SOCO is providing brewstock to hatcheries for production runs. A winter mortality resistant line and a dual winter mortality and QX disease resistant line. In the financial year of 2013 to 2014, four different hatcheries produced 15 million selectively bred Sydney rock oyster spat. In February of this year, to help support industry uptake this spat, the New South Wales Government has provided a subsidy of $50,000 to rebate part of the cost of the selectively bred Sydney rock oyster spat. SOCO is administering the rebate application and for more information, please visit the website at www.selectgesterco.com.au. I'm Gary Zippel and it's great to see you. I'm an oyster farmer from Smoky Bay and I really want to tell you about this thing that's happening in June in Adelaide. It's a Farmer's Day on the first day of the World Aquaculture Society Conference and it's good stuff. There's speakers from all over Australia and overseas speaking our language. None of this scientific speak, just good, as, good oyster growers language. They're talking about things like gadgets that fit inside an oyster and tell you how he's getting on, the latest information on POMS, uh, how do you keep oysters alive and what can you grow on your oyster leases besides oysters. There's also a, a trade show and it's got all the latest oyster information technology on display and it's got everything you could ever want to help you empty your wallet. 60 bucks will get you into the Farmer's Day and the trade show and after it's all over, I'll catch you for a beer at the Strathmon Hotel across the road. Thanks.